Pretty good timing as we've got Game and Gladiators taking on the side of Aster here for our first series of the day. I wasn't even considering that. Just the fact that like he's gonna also get the 50% heal amp off of everything else. But mid lane, the dive does come through and Sumail manages to get himself first blood with the help of Celery. So this is a big win in this mid lane. He gets the level six, he's shoving this wave into the tower. He's gonna miss out on a lot here. Like this whole mid wave is gone. Bottom lane, a dive here will result in the kill onto the crystal, or no. Yeah, Crystal Maiden rotated from the backside. Okay, they're still trying to chase down Duraggio as Celery as well underneath the tower here. It looks like he's going to be just fine. You know, with with the Flame Guard as high as it is, he can't really shove Quinn out just with his right clicks. And with a mobility on hand, oh, he'll try it. Ooh, he's... Oh, Ooh. Quinn. Maybe getting a little bit too greedy there. Yeah, Sumail just lets the Sonic Wave rip and <laughs> strikes back. On If they actually manage to find him here hiding in this jungle, it's to be a really nice kill. The gr that being said, Monkey King, not one of the easiest heroes to gank, especially with Tree Dance. Uh, they got vision of him for a second. He cuts the tree perfectly on the slide. Dude, Quinn, what a sick play. When they gonna get healed up here by the IO. Is it gonna be enough? He's trying to escape a slide if this comes out. One more remnant. Nice dodge there from Monet, but the last auto attack's gonna find it. Doom comes out, managed to catch Ace. It's gonna be a three for one so far. A buyback here from the IO. Trying to get Queen of Pain out of danger, but they managed to chase him. But a great duel. XXS, he finds the Ember on the backside to try and stop him, and it will be enough to keep the co op going. Sumail blinks over to the side. The Sonic Wave. Four. He grabs the Ember Spear, what? turns around to Tofu. Dude, what a value buyback and what a duel from XXS. Is it's going to actually net them so much here as they're continuing to chase. He does not actually land on the dagger. Can force a bigger 5v5, but XXS, he's got that blink. He wants to make a play with it. He is all alone, which is a little bit risky to run up here. At least has the blade mail. Ooh, they get the Doom out. The question is, can they actually chase him in time? They're bringing in the Monkey King and the... Yeah, they got plenty of damage. No help there. Io will reload them in onto the backside. The freezing guild from Celery, though, is doing a lot of work. Big Sonic Wave catching three. A stolen one oh from my God. Celery as well. They're trying to finish off Sumail, but do they have the damage to lock him down in time? It doesn't look like it. Quinn thinking of going into the Wukong's command here to chase down Monet. Dude, the... The slows, the damage coming up from the Caudal are too much. Monet trying to hide into the trees. Can't mischief dodge that one. And they managed to find themselves three really big kills. One dual victory. It's it's a rough Legion game at the moment. They are going to get smoked. It's instantly popped here by Monet, Monet, but they actually just turn around with a Doom right away. And he's going to be the one that falls as a result. And with a Terror Blade, a meta available, they could just walk up there and maybe try and force the fight at the Tormentor. They're pinging it. Like, Duraccio wants this Tormentor. Yeah. And they're going to have to show up for this. XXS just walks in, gets caught by the Telekinesis, but there's the meta on the backside as well. Quinn, he's not here to help them. They're going to get an instant duel here. They managed to trade one for one on the supports, but here he comes. There's your Ember Spirit. He's looking for Sumail. Does not manage to grab him, but Duraccio has a Scotty, the Solar Bind Vessel, onto Sumail's Queen of Pain. He's gone, man. When A comes in, drops a nice Wukong's command with BKB. He's going to be protecting Ace for the moment. And he's stuck inside his own Wukong's command. Nowhere to go. He's looking to try and grab Duraccio, but it's not going to be enough. It's four dead for the side of Aster. You only get the Rubik completely dominating on this hero. And pretty rough bottom lane. Wukong's command comes out, but Monet again just completely surrounded as Duraccio on this Terrorblade has no problem chasing him into this Wukong's command. The Axe for Sumail. The Axe could be pretty good. With all, with all of those Shadow Strikes and the Scream of Pains passing around, unless Gaiman just overstepped their bounds and maybe starts to split off one by one for a little bit. Quinn on the hunt here, looking for the Crystal Maiden. And, and an easy pickoff, thanks to Ace showing on up. Dude, I, I love his build. Just right, Lincoln Sphere now going back for the Aghanim Scepter. Just so none of these targets feel great for Exitus to jump on. Ooh, instead, they're going to be forced back into their base. As Duraccio is just going in with the Metamorphosis. A nice frost fight here, but the Crystal Maiden just gets collapsed on. As that's going to be the first death there. A stolen Frostbite as well for Celery. That is going to be very rough to play around. The range is and, massive. Yeah, they just. Throw the Lincolns here onto the Terra Blade. He just sits up on the high ground. Pike, Manta, Scotty, very, very tanky. 
As the Monkey King trying to play in the trees here, wondering if he can, you know, maybe find an opening into this fight. But at the moment, it just is not looking good. Aster, they've lost the tier three. They've lost the range. It's now the melee that's under siege. And Jirachia looks like he's going to go for it. A duel on the backside. Grabs the Rubik, but an instant stun. Oh, they managed to get him with the Sonic Wave. He's going to buy back into this one. Then XXS, he's chasing Tofu here. Going to get a decent amount of damage on out. But you've already lost two. Sue Mail just got completely crushed. As he's going to buy back as well. Jirachia with the Sunder there onto Tofu to keep him alive. But Monet's BKB, it's going to expire. There's the chains, the vessel as well. They've got him. And XXS telekinesis up to the high ground. And Quinn, he's still in the base, having some fun of his own. I mean, he's got he's got hags. He can chase after Bobica, no problem at all. There's they just have so many items coming out as well on the side of gaming gladiators. That is just direct like counters to what Aster is trying to do here. Obviously, they're closing in on a Lincoln Sphere. They are gonna go for a wrap around here. The duel. He does he find Tofu? He does, and they might be able to pick him off in time. But the oh. Sunder save from Duraccio, it's still not enough. They get him, and Duraccio will fall as well on the high ground. They are doing some work here with Ace as he's chasing down Bobica. The Wukong's command doing some work as it will be Quinn that ends up finding the kill on the Doom. Just chasing down XXS nearly all the way to the fountain as he's going to find him. Monet falls as well. It's all five dead and the Crystal Maiden about to die back as well as the GG comes out. And Quinn with a triple kill to close out this game number one. Very, very good plays from Gaming Gladiators all around. Yeah, they work out their lanes really well. I don't think your runaway potential for Gaming Gladiators is as snowbally as it was in game one. Varun is going to be bottom, and yeah, nicely done from Sumail. He will... Oh, he denies the rune! Tofu grabs it, and Sumail still not level six. The Rolling Thunder out from Quinn. He's going to try and just play around this, hoping he can get bonked to the low ground, but it's going to be enough from there. Quinn gets the first put on the Pango this time around, and... Give him some top-ups, help him Quinn. sustain that lane. Monet's solo, though. Monet is alone. Quinn, he's got the Rolling Thunder, looking to just chase the Ursa here underneath the tower, and he's got plenty of barriers to play off of. That'll be an easy pick off there for the Pango once again as he grabs himself his second kill. Meanwhile, top lane, Duraccio, he's level six here on this life stealer. Three points in the Ghoul Friends. He's just going to chase down the Snapfire, still holding the Rage and Celery. I don't think you really have kill threat on this guy. He can infest them. Exactly. Just like that, and without level six on the Brewmaster, can't chase him down. I mean, it kind of makes sense, they, right? You have an Underlord who's just happy farming. He's top of the net worth at the moment, and there's absolutely no one in the game who can force out this life stealer, right? Yeah, you, you don't have the solutions on hand. And the solutions are basically Sumail, trying to get the jump, trying to get that control. The Interim to get the burst damage on. Oh, you? snap fire. Dude, such good control there. But in comes Sumail, doing quite a bit of damage. Tofu will be fine. Bobica now on the run as they get the first earn charges here for tofu he gets this tether away but solar bind slowed him for a little bit quinn is not done man he really wants this kill he just you know this is this is the content i want to see cart the first brewmaster you want bottom lane <laughs> Quinn with the Rolling Thunder looking to chase down Monet here again. He does have the Enrage. Just gets his ankles broken, though, thanks to the uh, bonus movement speed there from Bobica. And there's going to be the split. Quinn trying to jump his way back through the trees here. They do drop the Pit of Malice. Quinn cycloned up at the moment. Let him live. live. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, no. He, he's asking. He's trying to be nice about it. But yeah, Quinn definitely dead. <laughs> Surrounded by all five heroes here of Aster. You know, utilizing those early objectives. Collapsing onto mid here. And indeed, Quinn takes so much damage right out of the gate. That minus armor doing some work. He does get the actual step away, but he's used his last one. And they do find him. He just swashes right over him in the trees. Sumail goes down. What they've gotten off the back for these kills, the space 9k lead, 16 minutes in, going for more. Top lane, get the enrage out right away from Monet as they will just catch him the blinding line, send him back. He's trying to chase down Tofu, but he's disarmed by the Pango, slowed up oh, again. Slows. And Monet will go down as Ace is looking for Bobica here, did drop the Fiend's Gate, won't be able to find him. There's no way he's going to find these early kills, so might as well sit back, try to again gain some EXP back. Get some gold build up into these items. I don't know if they can get Duraccio here, but they're going to try. Like, Monet's got a lot of stacks up, and there's the infest oh. into the Rubik. But the Mortimer kisses are there. The chase continues. He's got so much Sorry. bonus movement speed with those drums, but he gets cookied out, and Duraccio's like, see ya. 
Thanks for the uh, thanks for the save there, you know. Yeah, this is the safer play. You can also farm creeps sure. to the right. One shot's creeps. So that's pretty good. Oh, that's bottom true. lane. Telekinesis finds one A. They're trying to hold him back here for Ace to get close enough. They pop the drubs. These guys are zooming after him. The cookie on forward. Garaccio trying to get his hands onto anything. Celery stole the tether. What? Yeah. All right. That's going to be scary to deal with. These guys are not going to be able to get away oh from God, this life stealer stuff. Brewmaster? Oh my goodness. Well, they see the reload spot. They know this IO is coming back here in a matter of seconds. They're chasing after the Snapfire as well. Let's see if they can dodge him out into the trees. He's going to go for the TP. The Telekinesis there to break it, and Bobaka is going to fall. Both supports gone. Like we said, it was a better draft for Aster. It's, it's not coming out that way. It, it, it does feel like they're still not able to utilize the IO as well as they'd like to. They're not ready to really make these plays across the map. And Sumail's not ready to run anyone down. He'll try, though. Oh, he forced the creep! Okay, this is pretty funny. Top lane, they're going after Duraccio's life. So a nice remnant out there. He's got the rage still to disengage. But he's got a Radiance. Like, like Duraccio is very tanky now as a result of this. And he's getting back up from the Freds. He's got the tether, dude. The he's 488 yep. move speed, dude. You can't get away from this guy. Now they managed to catch Monet, and Rage gets forced right away. He drops the Remnant, but Monet's on the run, and Quinn with the Rolling Thunder here to join the fight. He managed to get on top. The Urso lock him down long enough here for Duraccio to finish him off, and now XXS in some trouble as well. The Swashbuckle will take down Bo because Ace just needs one more auto attack. They are crumbling on Aster as they found Sumail up on the high ground as well. Astral steps into the base, but are they going to stop? Absolutely not. No way. Game and Gladiators diving tier fours at the 20 minute mark no to wipe Aster off the map. <laughs> He's so yeah. fast. He's just walking his dog. The life stealer. Hey, <laughs> go chase them, doggy. You know, I mean, normally you wouldn't even have them on a leash, but you know, the leash makes him faster. Uh, and Duracho's not done. He life Monet. is relatively dog like. What? I'll give you that one. Uh, I mean, yeah, Monet can't fight into this. He, he's got missed chance. He's doesn't have enrage. Like, he's just dead. Beat down by the life stealer once again. And I, I think Aster. Starting to uh, realize this game quickly falling apart there is bottom. They will lose the Snapfire as well. Complete yeah. domination on the map. Bo because like, I gotta get this wizard. No, no guys, way, no I gotta way. get it. Maybe try to burst down the Rubik. Celery gets infested instead. He comes right back out of the Rancho. Celery will finally die. They remove the tether finally, but... It's going to cost you another kill there as Duraccio seemingly unkillable at this point. They know this Roche attempt is definitely on the books here. Oh, boy. The side. He the just gate. pits the pits the pit. <laughs> oh, no. Ursa rocks right into the side of Gaming Gladiators. They're rotating on over. There's going to be the reload out, but Duraccio, he's just so scary. He's like, whatever, I can take Roche on. Dude, <laughs> look at the stat bar. He's he just wants hiding to steal? behind the wall. Oh, no. Is he going to try to cookie steal? <laughs> well, he stole the tether okay, again, up. dude. Dog no. mode initiated. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, walk your dog. Dude, it goes faster oh with the leech. You whip gosh. your dog. This is, I mean, even without the IO, Gaiman still has the better IO They combo. still have the IO. Yeah, and they don't even have overcharge. So <laughs> even without the overcharge, they don't need it. They just need to go faster. He's got a telekinesis, the doggy man. go free. He, yeah, he's it. got boots of bearing. And it's going to be difficult. Let's see what they can do as they just start to push this bottom lane here. We're looking for their opening. They get the bash there on the Brewmaster stuck inside the Pit of Malice. They have a siege creep. You know, Life Stealer just They're standing on the front just... line. Like, what's up, dude? You guys want to get in? You guys want to fight? Like, how are we doing? Oh, the bash. He oh, no. The it's a male. Oh, my you know, goodness. The Swatch bash. Just destroys him and it just keeps happening over and over. Quinn on this pango is an absolute master as they force two back into the base. XXS here on this brewmaster does get the split off, but it's nothing out of it. They tried to use the mortar McKissus from the backside to do something here, but Pichu now gets scouted and it's just going to be an easy pick off oh, no. there for Quinn. He is level 16, he's doing an absurd amount of damage, and the GG comes they out. A very convincing 2-0 from Gaming Gladiators. These guys look as strong as ever. Yeah, it's it's down to a lot of factors. It's down to the fact that Aster feels the need to go into this IO up against his team, which, again, I can't fault them for.